So yesterday during DC Fandom, we got the first official trailer for the Snyder Cut and it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I mean, I, I had a hard time watching it at first because DC Fandom was like super laggy and like kept freezing and everything. So I, I, I had to just wait and watch it later. So that's why this video isn't out till now. Um, but uh, n other than the trailer, we also got the reveal that not only is the Snyder Cut four hours, but it will be split up into four parts. So I assume it'll be like you get one hour one week, the next week you get the next hour. Um, so that that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad I'm glad they didn't have to split it up anymore. Like I would have preferred it to just be one whole movie, uh, but they did say that after all four parts are released, you will be able to watch it in that way, which which is good because that's how we should want to watch it. You know in all four hours of its glory, because it's going to be awesome. And uh, another thing I love is that Zack Snyder even said that um, for those countries that won't be having HBO Max at this time, they'll it, they'll find a way to get it to you. So that that's awesome that even if, if you don't have HBO Max in your area, any fan will be able to watch this, which is just absolutely amazing. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this and break down the official Z Justice League, the Snyder Cut trailer. So, of course, this is a Max original. Um, then we get the the very first shot is like the one thing that we wanted to see the most from this thing, and it's freaking Dark Side. Except it's before he's Dark Side, so this is when he was. You, you, you Axis? Yeah, you Axis. I, I have no idea how to say his name. Um, I'm just gonna call him, like, Baby Dark Side. Um, cause this is, like, a young Dark Side here. Um, and this is from that flashback battle that we saw Steppenwolf fighting, um, all, all the people for the mother boxes. Um, but Dark Side do be looking pretty cool right here. Um, I'm really liking it. I mean, I wouldn't say he looks as good as Thanos, but he, he looks pretty good. Um, and then we get a nice flashback here to Superman and, uh, well, you know, when he died in Batman v Superman. Then this is a really interesting shot because this is one of the things I loved from Batman v Superman. Well, that I actually, actually didn't like when I first saw the movie. But now that I understand what it actually is, I actually really like it. And this is like the uh, nightmare scenes that we got in Batman v Superman. Except here, you can see there was a Hall of Justice here. But it's now been destroyed. You can see Aquaman's trident is there. Um, so this really is just like an apocalypse on Earth. Like, this is insane. And... I, I really want to see this. Like, I really want to see a sequel to the Snyder Cut because from what we've heard, the Snyder Cut is already amazing. But then the sequel would be even better. So I, I want to see that too because then that will show what it's like when the Justice League loses. Um, so hopefully we see that. Um, but obviously this is DC. We get an interesting shot here of Wonder Woman. This looks like uh, from the very first teaser when we saw her looking at that uh, like painting of Darkseid um, on the wall. This looks like the temple that she went to that she saw that in. But that looks like that's actually maybe Darkseid's you know, axe or spear thingy that he was holding in the first part. I'm not completely sure on that, but it does look pretty similar to it. Um, so maybe this is like the temple of dark side or something. So, I don't know. And then, of course, Ben Affleck is back as Batman. Not only in this movie, but also in the upcoming Flash movie. Uh, but he is mourning the loss of Superman and thinking about how they can save the day without him. Until they realize they can't and they gotta bring him back. Um, then we get some awesome visuals here. Some awesome Zack Snyder visuals as Aquaman is wa walking down the docks. And this is stuff we've seen pretty much before. Uh, but what we haven't seen before, at least in the theatrical version, is Victor Stone playing football. And these are going to be flashbacks, but I'm really looking forward to it. Because I love football. It's my favorite sport. I love playing it. I love watching it. So... I'm really excited to see Victor Stone and j just see more of him. You know, we, we didn't really get that much from him in the theatrical version. So I want to see more of his story explored here. And as you can see, the all the fans are cheering probably as much as we are finally getting the Snyder Cut. Uh, then 
we got black suit Superman right here, um, in fully rendered, because we, we got our first look at Justice Con, but it wasn't completely finished shot, but this one, it is, and it looks fantastic, so, if you're not aware of how he gets his black suit, basically, he comes back to life, pretty much what happened in the theatrical version, but then he goes back to his crypt, uh, his, his Krypton pod, or Kryptonian pod, yeah, um, and then he finds this suit because it will help him heal and, like, regenerate his powers. Because when he first comes back, he's not up to his full power because, you know, he's been in the ground this whole time. And he gets his power from the yellow sun. So, he, this will help him kind of recharge his batteries. Then, there's a nice exchange between this little girl and Wonder Woman. Because Wonder Woman is a public hero now, so that's very cool. Then we got a nice shot of Barry Allen... He's running super fast. I still don't like the way he runs. Like, you look at this part in the trailer, and it's like he extends his arm and then, like, flips his wrist up. Like, what What? what are you doing, Ezra Miller? That, that's not how you run. Um, but this is interesting because we get to see that he's actually saving Iris West. Um, another interesting thing about this shot, Barry's not wearing shoes. Um, I don't know why. That could be something to do with him running and, like, Maybe his shoes would get messed up if he went that fast while wearing them. So maybe he just took them off real quick before he went over to save her. Um, but yeah, that is Iris West Allen. Uh, she, well, she's not West Allen yet. Um, but maybe she will be someday. Um, she might be recast for the Flash movie. We're not completely sure yet. But that is Kiersey Clemens as Iris West in the Snyder Cut, so that's cool. Then we get a shot of Cyborg digging up Superman's grave. Batman up there on that gargoyle. One of my favorite shots from the original version um, that I love to see continuing here. Of course, Lois Lane is back. Um, Aquaman, he's taken off his armor, dropped the trident, and then he's like, I'm out. And then he just walks out of the water force field bubble thing. And then we got Mira, probably... The last time we're going to see Amber Heard is Mira because, you know, everything that's going on with her and Johnny Depp and all that stuff. So we're not sure if we'll see her back in Aquaman 2, but I, I think she is a pretty good Mira. Um, then, of course, that classic shot that pretty much started it all. This was one of the first images revealed by Zack Snyder when he, they, they were like, hashtag release the Snyder Cut and everything. And it, it looks amazing. I, I absolutely love it. And then, probably one of the biggest surprises of this trailer is that we have our very first look at Desaad, who I wasn't expecting. I mean, we kind of knew he was going to be in this movie. Grace Randolph mentioned it once, but uh, here he is. And I have to say, they did a really good job with him because usually, like, you see him in cartoons or something, and he's just, like, a, a wrinkly little dude that looks super creepy, and he's got, like, a purple hood on. Um, but he actually looks really scary here. It actually reminds me a lot of Corvus Glaive. He looks like a mixture of Corvus Glaive from Avengers Infinity War and the, uh, the, um, that guy, the guy from The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I, I don't even remember his name. Snoke. Snoke. Emperor Snoke, or whatever his name was. Yeah, it reminds me of a, a mix of Corvus Glaive and Snoke, so... Not, not just what, what it reminds me of, but he looks really cool. Um, and then we get a shot of Cyborg stumbling away, just as we saw in the teaser, I think, a couple days ago. Um, so that's interesting. Then Superman is just flying up in the air, and Lois is like, Is that my man? And yes, it is. Uh, but then, w one of the more interesting parts of the trailer, it, we see this mother box, it's getting experimented on. Um, and then we see Silas Stone, and his face is all messed up and stuff, and I don't know what happened there, but it's definitely interesting. Maybe it could have something to do with his experiments, and his face just got all scarred up or, so or something. But then Cyborg's like, no, uh, but it's too late, because then he goes poof. So, uh, did Silas Stone just die? Um, I, I, I don't, I mean, it looks like he did. He, he looks pretty dead to me. Um, but if he is dead, why would they spoil that in the first trailer? So I'm hoping he's not, um, because there's a lot of potential with that character to help continue on Cyborg's storyline. Um, 
But this does just get me more excited for Cyborg because, like I said, he didn't really do much in the original film. But this one, he's going to have a lot more to do. He's going to have a bigger arc in this film, and I'm excited for that. Then, another part we've all been waiting for here, when the when Steppenwolf comes to see the Amazons, and we have the new design for Steppenwolf, looking much, much better. Very scary and creature-esque and spiky and all that stuff so he looks very cool um then we also get that shot of cyborg wonder woman and aquaman oops o oops okay but then we get this uh blurry screenshot of h here uh sorry i couldn't get a really good screenshot uh but this is black suit superman going up against steppenwolf so we saw this in the theatrical version it's just superman was wearing his red and blue suit so it wasn't as cool um but superman's about to kick his butt so that's very interesting. And Batman's deflecting some Parademon blasts. Barry's in the Speed Force. That's pretty epic. Uh, this is when Superman first arrives on the Kent farm. And then they're all reunited. So yay to the Kent family. Um, then we get another flashback to that battle with young baby Darkseid. Um, this looks like the king of the Atlanteans at the time. Um, so interesting there. Then once again, Barry in the Speed Force. Um, I'm very excited to see Barry in the in this film to see, like, really what makes him a good Flash because like, it, in the theatrical version he was honestly kind of annoying and kind of kind of like, uh, you know, j just not the kind of Flash I want to see. So I'm hoping he's a lot better here in the Snyder cut. Um, but then another awesome shot from the trailer is something we saw in the theatrical cut but it's very different because of course we have superman in the black suit looking amazing there um so th this is just absolutely amazing and then you can see that they're about to go home you know and they're gonna hop on the fox or whatever that ship was called and everything and then justice league hashtag the snyder cut so i'm not sure if that is the official title justice league hashtag the snyder cut I assume it's something like that, because Zack Snyder did say we'd get the official title revealed at DC Fandom, um, so I guess this is it, um, but, uh, then, of course, we do have this little ending here where we get a look at all, all the team when they're going into the battle, and they're like, this guy ha has taken over hundreds of worlds and defeated and conquered, how do we stand a chance against them? And then, of course, the trailer ends with Batfleck saying, like, they, they can't beat us. Especially when we're united. Yeah. So, Justice League have to unite to take down Steppenwolf. And then, hopefully, if we get a sequel, Darkseid. Um, so, yeah, I am really, really excited for the Snyder Cut. I can't wait to see when it comes out. We we still don't even know when it's coming out. We just know it's 2021. Rumors are it's somewhere early 2021. But it's definitely going to be interesting seeing it in four parts. But I'm definitely excited for it. Plus, I do think it'll make it easier to watch, too. Because, like, obviously I want to watch it in movie form. But at the same time, like... If it comes out on, I think HBO Max usually releases new episodes of their shows on, like, Thursdays. Um, so, like, if we get a new part every Thursday, it, like, Thursday isn't really a great time of the week to sit down and watch four, a four-hour movie. But one hour, I mean, you, that could be handled. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm just excited for the Snyder Cup cut but you gotta let me know down in the comments below guys what did you think about this trailer what were your favorite parts do you have any theories about the snyder cut thanks so much for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button so i can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the dc life